Got it right here. It's 10.52. If there is one guilty pleasure that I have acquired living in a first world country, it is sparkling water. I just can't live without it anymore. Hey, what is up everyone? This is Sid from Journey to the Eats, and for today's video, I'll be sharing my love for sparkling water. Now, when I first uh, tried sparkling water, I didn't really like it as much. I believe it is an acquired taste. And if it's your first time trying out sparkling water, you would say it's like a diluted soda or uh, an unsweetened Sprite. But it is really just water that's fizzy and it's just amazing for me. Now given that there are a lot of different types of sparkling waters and some um, manufacturers would put different types of flavors, my love for sparkling water really boils down to the crispiness of the bubbly fizzy drink and the natural taste of water. Now, now don't get me wrong, I do love different flavors, but just water and just the bubbles is just enough for me. Of course, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this right. I'll be having my sparkling water with my breakfast slash slash my first meal of the day. First drink up. Perrier lemon. Boom. Sparkling ice. Boom. Next is the bubbly sparkling water. Boom. Aha! Sparkling water. Boom boom. Same. Pellegrino. Boom boom boom. Boom. And I'm just having leftover spaghetti with meatballs using my chopsticks. So let's try sparkling water number one. Aha! Aha, aha. It says sparkling water, lime plus watermelon, and naturally flavored plus other naturally, natural flavor. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, got that burp factor going right away. I, I can taste a lot of that watermelon, which is good. Very refreshing. Mm. Meatball. Costco meatball. Can we try one more time? definitely get the burp factor going. Flavor wise, it's great. The water quality, I can't really say so much because um, the flavor I, is a tad bit overwhelming. Thus, you know, can't really taste the sparkliness of the water. Um, it's a very difficult balance to have that water flavor and I'm looking for that hint Sorry, I know. Hint of flavor. I don't want overwhelming flavor, just a hint of the flavor. Bubbly. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that burp factor, man. Way, way bigger. The fizziness and the crispiness of the, the carbon is. I mean, there's too much bubbliness maybe because it's a bubbly sparkling water I don't know if you could have too much fizziness but over here I guess this is a little bit too fizzy for me next is sparkling ice classic lemonade
Because that's zero sugar with vitamin, vitamins, with zero sugar with vitamins and antioxidants. But this is not sparkling water. This is lemonade. This is not lemonade flavored sparkling water. This is just straight up lemonade. It's just too sweet for me. You can't, you can't really say that this is water. Too sweet, flavors too overpowering. This is a great lemonade, but this is not sparkling water. Oh. Now we're gonna move on to the juggernauts of the sparkling water arena. Let's have some Perrier. Water captured at the source in France. Flavored carbonated mineral water. <sighs> Woo! Perrier. Ooh, hold on. Ah. Mm. Definitely refreshing. Water quality is great. It's it's there, it's present, it's in the now. Lemon, you can definitely taste the lemon, but it's really more so with the water flavor and water taste rather than the lemon. And that's what we're looking for with sparkling water. I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me try it with a little bit of pasta. Ability. Check. And the last one that I have for today is we know what this is. You see this all the time in Starbucks. Ho oh ho! San Pellegrino Termi, Italy. Sparkling natural mineral water with natural carbon dioxide added. San Pellegrino. Natural water fizziness, not overwhelming like the bubbly one, or is this too bubbly? This one is just the right amount of bubbly. The natural flavors, the mineral water, the water quality, just great. It's, it's not trying to pretend to be anything else, it is what it is. It's just great mineral water that's sparkling. That is refreshing. This takes the first place. My second would be bubbly, sparkling water. And the third would be the period. And then, wink, wink, the last one. Well, second to the last one. And this one, I can't even qualify. This is not sparkling water, so this, this, this is disqualified. So if you're looking for an alternative, you're looking for a healthy alternative, but you still want to have the fizziness with your meals, and uh, you're trying to cut back with um, sodas, try sparkling water. It's different, you know, especially if not if you're not even used to drinking water. But this is definitely something that you should try out if you would like to have different take. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. I will be finishing my meal with my Pellegrino. Ah. Mm. Ah. So that is it for today. I hope that you would try out different types of sparkling water and find out what you like best. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sid from Journey to the Eats and I hope you would like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.